One of the benefits of traveling around the country and living in our RV is that we regularly get to meet fun people. We met John and Esther just a few months ago during one of our Thursday night card games in Florida, and today they're going to show us around a fun place in North Carolina. The four of us spent a fun day in the small town of Mount Airy. This is the town where Andy Griffith grew up. He used this town and his boyhood memories as a base for the successful Andy Griffith Show, which ran from 1960 to 1968. Mount Airy is a pretty town in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. At one time, it was the center of the textile and the furniture industries. Today, its big industry is this huge granite quarry. It's the largest open-faced granite quarry in the world. But for now, let's just focus on Andy Griffith. Thousands of tourists visit Mount Airy nowadays to step back into time and immerse themselves in the fictional town of Mayberry. And remember characters like Andy, Opie, Barney, Goober, and Aunt B. We started the day at Wally's Service Center. We climbed into their 1964 Ford Galaxy for a tour around the town. The car is painted like the squad car in the Andy Griffith Show. They've even installed the flashing red light and a siren. I know what you're thinking. I have the best job in town. You do have a pretty darn good job. All right, here we go. Throw him in jail. <laughs> Throw him in jail. That was smart mouthing back at me. He needs to go to prison. Go on in. Oh, so sad. Fun fact that we learned Ford Motor Company sponsored the show, and Ford supplied a new Ford Galaxy each season free of charge. This gave Ford a chance to showcase each year's new model to the public. As far as we know now, nobody knows where each of the show's actual cars ended up. Apparently the car was returned to Ford each year after recording for the season. Ford repainted it and sold each car without bothering to record the VIN numbers. I guess that they never really expected anyone to show any interest in tracking them down. So why bother with keeping track of them? In the 1960s, collecting classic cars wasn't quite the big money industry that it has become over the past few decades. The community holds an annual Mayberry Days celebration during the last weekend of September each year. It's something like the popular Comic-Con events that are held around the country in that many visitors dress up in character. Walking the streets, you may run into a drunk Otis character a number of times during a single day, or a 40-year-old man dressed as a red-headed young boy. Plan ahead if you want to spend the night because hotel rooms fill up well in advance during the festival. Speaking of places to stay, you can actually rent the house where Andy Griffith's family lived when he was growing up. It's decorated with antiques that maintain the feel of the 1930s. It can be difficult to book a night. Vacancies aren't always available and don't even think about getting this rental during the Mayberry Days Festival. Opie's Candy Store, Floyd's Barber Shop, Snappy Lunch, they're all here and you can come to eat and to shop. While you're here, take a walk down Oak Street. The famous Whittling Wall is here. It's a beautiful collection of brick sculptures by an artist named Brad Spencer and they showcase some of the town's history. This was actually my favorite part of the town. I've never seen a carving done in brick and mortar before. Here's one of the carved figures. It's Donna Fargo, who did very well with her country music career in the 1970s. One of Andy Griffith's hometown friends, Emmett Forrest, managed to collect and organize a wide variety of memorabilia from Andy's career, and much of it can be seen at the Andy Griffith Museum here in Mount Airy. We spent a couple of hours there. Mount Airy is a beautiful town, with the feel of stepping backwards in time. We highly recommend the tour around this town in the sheriff's car, then a walk downtown and an hour or two at the museum. It really made for a wonderful day. Whew, what a busy day. Hoping you get the chance to see this cute town yourselves one day. And until then, we're looking forward to seeing you on the road.
Check out some of our other videos and subscribe to our channel. New content will be posted weekly.